Can y'all hear me? You know, I got to make sure everybody can hear me. Can everybody hear me? Man, you can tell I just got out of the tub for a moment for the face glistening. Can everybody hear me? What's up to my peoples, man? Can y'all hear me? I be trying to make sure everybody can hear me for before I really talk on full now. Oh, I forgot to put my earrings back in, but I ain't finna go. Um, I was cleaning my earrings for. I was cleaning my earrings for well, letting them sit. On phone now. Um. But. Yeah, you know, today, I wanted to, um, I wanted to, um, nah, I don't know her. No, I don't know her, bro. Oh, I thought I told everybody, but, uh, yeah, the other day when I was on there, my phone had that, y'all. Sorry, apologies. <laughs> but today, I wanted to talk to y'all about a story that, you know, I've been getting a lot you know, in the comments, and, you know, people been want to hear about, you know, jail, period, but just my jail experience, or, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> how it was, you know, when I was booked, what I seen, who I was around, you know, stuff like that, you know, just, you know, that type of stuff, you feel me, like, that's all, like, um, and, you know, I thought, you know, I took some time and I wanted to come and give y'all that today. You know, I felt like that probably would be a good story. Probably could keep a couple people out of jail or thinking they want to go to jail and all that. You feel me? But, you know, I really wanted to, um, you know, let y'all in on that as well, you know. Um, you know, if y'all can't tell, you know, I'm trying to be consistent, man. Like, I'm trying to, you know flood y'all you know i've been you know i've been um i've been um you know slacking to the point where i feel like i owe y'all back to backs you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm doing man you know just putting it out giving y'all what y'all want you know what i'm saying uh, pleasing my peoples and also you know it's therapeutic for me as well you know i went through this stuff so um yeah you know um what I'm gonna start off is talking about just just even going to jail for the first time. You know, like when I went to jail, you know, going to the station and all of that and uh stuff like that. Can y'all hear me? Somebody tell me they can't hear me. Y'all can't hear me? Some people just be trolling, man, just trying to get me to tweak for or stop my story for or something. I don't know what they be on for. But um, yeah. Um, you know, going to the station and all that, it's a total difference between when you finally go make it to the big house. <laughs> okay, my nose good, folks. <laughs> but yeah, you know, going to the big house just showed me a lot more and made me realize that, you know, jail is real. You know what I'm saying? Even though I knew it was real, but you know, once you touch it for yourself, you honestly understand it to the fullest extent. So let me tell y'all about jail and coming in on the new. This might be, and for the people that don't get my, my terminology, coming in on the new is like you coming in on the deck, pod, division, whatever y'all call it, where y'all at, you know, you coming into that space new. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that been there, and you on your way to the deck, and the niggas looking out the things, looking at you with your burrito pack. Your burrito is your bed, your sheets. All that rolled up with you, you walking that, you feel me, to your next deck. So you be standing there with your burrito and niggas be out looking in the hole. Then when you come, I mean, looking through the window, then when you come in, it's like niggas get to yelling out they say, on the new, on the new, all that. You feel me? And it's like, this is, to me, the most scariest part of going to jail, folks, because you either going to get, like in my in my case, I ain't gonna say for regular. Re, I ain't gonna say regular niggas, but like niggas who ain't known or known everywhere. Face card ain't out there. Well, like 
Maybe you just come in, even if you don't know nobody, you might be good. But when you come in and you a nigga like me, it's two things going to happen. You either finna get a handshake and a high five, or you finna get your teeth kicked in. No in between. It's one or the other. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when a nigga like me or any of the guys, the BDs, anybody, we come in, the GDs, the ops, they come on the deck. It's either finna be that, hey, man, for what you want, man, yo, da da da, like kicking it, or it's finna be, mm, 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 mm. like it's finna be that or that. Like, ain't gonna be no in between, you know what I'm saying? So, and make sure y'all hit that like button, man, subscribe on phone them, but it ain't gonna be no in between. So, with, when you when you know that, it's like you come on every deck like, man, bro, like, you feel me? Like, not knowing what's finna happen, you know what I'm saying? And, like, on, when your first time in the county, I don't care how gangster you is, tough you think you is, that's scary, bro. Like, like, you feel me? Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, that's that's tough. That's tough. Like, coming in to, to some other nigga's career, basically, and just... Like, man, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? But when I first got there, my first time in the county, I was, I ended up going to a deck where a lot of the guys was at. Like, it wasn't no ops on the deck. It was my homies from my hood, some homies from the TYMB, some of the guys from 71st, one of the guys from THF. You feel me? I'm going to just say the name. It was, T it was China Man and Dookie from TYMB. It was Lil, Lil Devon. From 71st Bassville, it was Lil Law from Faux Faux, THF, that be rapping now. This one, folks had the dreads. It was Lil Law. Um, it was Capo from Miles, who was at Fuck 12. It was him. It was... It was a couple... I think it was another member or two on the deck. We was all jamming. We was all locked in. You know what I'm saying? So when I come on the deck, I see folks them on the deck. You feel me? This 2016. I come in there, I see folks them on the all the guys on there. So I'm I'm good. You feel me? We straight. I'm in there going to sell whole time. They got me in a cell with this Hispanic Mexican nigga folk who don't speak English. So folks them get that, all right, man, just switch your cell. Like we not supposed to do this because they do count every night and they gotta know who is who, but like, they like, see, we ain't leaving the deck. You swap your shit with folks. Put another nigga over there with him. So we put another nigga over there with dude. And I got in with another one of the guys on Biddy. So I'm over there with folks. He know, he telling me he know who I am. And I'll let I get a lot of this when I'm in jail. So now I'm hollering at folks. You feel me? I'm chilling. You feel me? Trying to get acquainted to this county system and what's going on around me. Because I'm still new to all this. You know, I've been locked up before because I've been to the juvie a lot of times. You feel me? But... Now I'm an adult and I'm going to the county. This the big house. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm on there. We make folks and them making jail dips. They sending me burritos to my cell that night. Air time they lock. See, Cap Fuck 12, he was like a, he was a, like a porter. You, what you call him? A joint? You call him a porter. He a nigga like, because we in sales at this time. So Cap was a nigga like, he will be the, like when everybody get in their cell, he the nigga that's outside the cell still because, he uh he a porter, so he sweeping, mopping the flow, you know, and they let the porters, like when everybody lock up and the phone's off, they let the porter get on there at 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night, because he's still out. The COs, they know, like, the porters, like, they like, like, they like the COs pet a little bit. Like, they do everything the CO ask them, but it come with perks. So, like, I'm in a, you feel me, hollering at, uh, watching Cap, he up in a, um, on the phone after he's sweeping mop. Everybody in they cell, he up in a decent, you know what I'm saying? So he sliding to my door at night. I got a couple of the other guys sliding to my door at night. When I'm in the chuck, niggas rapping outside the chuck. They, hey, Tate, hit that computers, folk. Hit this, folk, hit that. You feel me? I'm up in there. I'm just, ah, you know what? I'm rapping. <laughs> I'm rapping. Oh, folk, we are all over there rapping at the end of the day, folk. So it's like I'm, 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 I'm decent on photo. I'm on the deck with my guys. Everything, everything, you feel me? So, now, it get to a point where I'm I'm trying to get acquainted to the other stuff. Now, I'm around and I see everything, everything as far as the niggas I'm around. But, like, 
Now it's about what's going on in front of me, like how the county work, what they feed me, this and that. You feel me? At this point, I still ain't went to store or nothing. So I'm on the deck. You feel me? They serving food. My homies hitting me with noodles and care packages to I get right, but I ain't got right. So now I'm like, I'm up and up, and I'm just getting these trays, and I'm just like, what? Like, I couldn't believe what they were serving, niggas. Folks, look, let me tell y'all what they were serving us, man. So for breakfast, you know, in the county, they serving breakfast at like 4 in the morning. They come on your deck with these little plastic little trays that's in in some type of plastic, see-through plastic. And it be the most miscellaneous shit that don't go together in there, and they expect you to eat it. And then they waking you up out your sleep. Because, like, in jail, you're going to sleep with one eye open if you smart. So anytime you sleep, you can hear keys wrangling or hear anything. Really, you feel me? Like, if you ain't sleep, you if you sleep, sleep in jail, you must want to live in there for real. Like, I swear, every nigga in jail, we be all knocked out. But we could hear a pin drop in our sleep on phone. Them. Like, as soon as they, we, we be knocked out. As soon as they, Mr. Carbon is, uh, oh, yo. Like, niggas can hear it. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like. And now I'm just like, you feel me, folk? They serving us at 4 in the morning, waking niggas up. And it's like, they give you the package, and it's a piece of cheese, two pieces of bread. It's an applesauce and some crackers or something, like, or something, like, like, something stupid, folk. Like, what is I'm supposed to do with that? Like, what I'm supposed to put the applesauce on the bread? You feel me? And, and and then put a cheese on it and, and eat that? Like, what, that's what I'm supposed to do for breakfast, folk? Then y'all gave me cheese crackers on the side? Like, man, come on, bro. Like, come, I don't want to... Man, then the cheese, y'all making it here at the county. Like, nah, bro. Like, come on. What am, I, what am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with some cheese that the mice is in here won't even... I'm telling my folk, we used, to, we used to pull pranks with the meat and cheese they used to give us for, like... Folk, leave it in the corner. You know the county is big. Got rats, mites, all that. Insects. And we just like, folk, you can leave the cheese over there for a whole month. Ain't nobody going to touch it. Not none of them insects or none of them. I mean, not insects, but them damn mices or none. They ain't going to eat it. They ain't going to touch it. That's how we knew it was fucked up. And y'all giving it to us. What is What am I supposed to make? An apple sauce sandwich? Like who what the board of 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 health and food for y'all that's telling y'all this is what we can eat? Like told y'all, yeah, y'all can serve them apple sauce and 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 and, and, and uh bread and, and and they gonna be good. Wake them up out they sleep at four in the morning after they just told they fighting forty five years at court the night before, the day before, and tell them to eat this apple sauce sandwich. Come on, dog. Come on, folk. Like, we already in the county going through enough, and you niggas want to make a nigga eat an apple pie sandwich? Come on, bro. So, now, how I'm looking at it is, I'm already disgusted. I'm not even going to lie. I'm already, like, fed up with it because I'm like, at this point, bro, I ain't making a stove. Y'all ain't giving me nothing to really eat in here. Like, and that's just breakfast. Lunch come around, you might have a cock in a sock. You might get lucky. It might be a chicken patty on there, but that was luck, lucky. You feel me? Lucky when that come around. But you might have a cock in a sock. You might be eating some slop beans and all that. Like, this lunch, this is the only hot meal we get every day. Our lunch is cold. Our bre- I mean, our lunch is hot. Our breakfast is cold, folks. You feel me? And you don't get dinner in the county. Dinner is, for dinner, we eating stove food like that we bought at the stove. You know what I'm saying? We went to the stove and got that. You know what I'm saying? But they don't serve us that. You got to make that on your own when you and your peoples at night. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm really like, at this point, I'm just through with it, folks. Because I don't, I'm still like faking the world. I'm at the point where like my head still in the world and I'm not finna eat no jail. Overly no applesauce sandwich or no cock in a sock with beans and all that. I'm round up, ready to stop. I'm folding them like. But niggas in there making sure I'm straight because I'm one of them. You feel me? So I'm like, all right, okay, cool. I'm going to just, I can't eat no county food right now. You know what I'm saying? So now that was one thing, right? You feel me? I'm up in there. 
I'm chilling. I'm good. So now I come. They move me. They end up moving me out the blue and sent me to the dorms. Now I'm, I went from being in the sales with phone them in, the, in, the, in a division on the pod with sales to now I'm in a division with dorms. In the dorms, I didn't like the dorms. I mean, I, I, it ended up being cool, but I didn't like the concept of dorms because dorms are a bunch of bunk beds in one big ass room with you and 50 to 100 other niggas. And that's just like uh, something, that's like a pot boiling waiting to happen. Like, you feel me? Like in a dorm, you feel me? You got to really sleep with one eye open because everybody could just get up. A nigga walk, get up at 2, 3 in the morning while you sleep and shank you in the neck. Because it's just out open. Like, it ain't no sales stopping nobody outside of your celly from coming in and doing nothing to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or it ain't no nothing stopping a nigga from stealing out your bag while you in the shower. Or while you wet court, a nigga going in your bag. Like, you got to put a nigga on S on your bag while you shitting or pissing or showering or going to court. Like, you never know. Like, you never know. And, and the nigga that you bunkies with. Uh, be a nigga stealing from you the moose. You know, especially the young niggas like me, cause I come in once my once my once my once I finally do get to go to the store, I ain't never missing no store. My bag gonna be full to the capacity. I might have a hundred on another nigga books and let, get him a little bit so so he could shop for me on his books too. You know what I'm saying? So a nigga nigga think they might want to try me or go in my bag. There's a lot of shit in my bag. You know what I'm saying? So. I just really didn't like the whole concept of being in the dorm, and I also didn't like the concept of me coming in somewhere else on the new again. I don't know if where I'm going, y'all finna have some ops over here. When I was just good with phone and where I was just at. You feel me? Like, that's when I'm looking at it like, man, fo, like, I don't, I ain't wanna move, fo. I didn't wanna move, bro, but when I got over there, it was love. Feel me? I ended up getting some real cool. Re Third relationships with people that like I really, you know, I honestly valued them friendships. You know what I'm saying, and you know, it came to a point where it was like certain things. Like the one thing about I savings that I hated because it's a dorm, everything is out there. Like ain't no like even on the deck, on the deck you got a shower head where it's one nigga can go in there, and you got a shower head where multiple niggas can go in there. You know what I'm saying, and niggas. In the cell, folk, they be having it set up a certain way where, like, you, you everybody can get their own time to shower, folk. You feel me? Everybody, you ain't got to be bunched in there with another nigga, most likely, or seeing another nigga, or anything. Like, you don't got to do that. But in the dorms, everything is shared. You don't got no toilet in your cell when you wake up. So you got to go use that toilet where it's like five toilets lined up on the wall and. A nigga might be shitting next to you or two sh sh toilet seats down or for them. Like, that's where you got to go. When you go in the shower before, it's like, it's a it's a bunch of heads in the shower. And it's a bunch of shower heads. It ain't just no shower for you to just go in there by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Then sh going in the shower, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, you know niggas in here just beating they meat to the damn white meat on for them gray. Like, you know a nigga coming in here in the shower and tossing it. Man, he going crazy, folk. On phone them gray. Like I'm I'm watching I'm niggas going in the shower, showering for 40 minutes, but I know what you just did, bro. Ain't nobody showering for 40 minutes in the in the county, bro. You doing that? You, I know what you just did. For us white shit. You you know when a nigga been beating this shit too much in the county when the when the when the when the when the drain don't drain. Like you know you got your shower shoes on and now you should never feel water piling up at the bottom of your feet, folks. Everything's a big ass drain in the middle of the shower. All that water's supposed to go in, but it can't get in because all you niggas nuts and pube hair stopping the fucking drain up, fool. I'm talking about you could you could literally look down at the drain and be like, damn, fool. Like it's really like niggas nut in here, fool. Like no homo, like like you really like this man, you bro. Like this me, my first week, couple weeks in the county. This all I'm, I'm. This is what I'm witnessing. Like damn, like. On oh, folk gray, like you just know a nigga just choked this chicken in here, went nuts and 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 left the residue in the shower. You in here walking on eggshells trying to get out. <laughs> fo man, fo like I just, it was just such a disgusting thing to see, bro. Like it was just it was just it was just bad, folks. Cause I knew what niggas was doing, like, 
And, you know, niggas have been in there longer than I've been in there. Like, I got memories and, like, pussy. I got pussy the day I went to jail. I literally got some pussy and left out the door and got locked up. So it wasn't like, I ain't gonna say I was good, because I was still dry as hell. But it's like, man, these niggas ain't fucked in a year. They ain't did all type of shit, fo. They up and up. Going crazy, fo. I'm sweet. I know you niggas got carpet burn, y'all, and this bitch going nuts on four them gray, you feel me? So I'm just like, man, this is my life, you feel me? I'm praying that I can go to court and get get a bond or get out, get out of something, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, for I'm just praying, folk. Like, I ain't gonna lie. The bathroom process in the dorms, I didn't like. The sleeping thing and the way it was set up, I just didn't like the idea. But that's me always preparing for the worst. It actually ended up being cool, you know what I'm saying? It was all cool, but it could have been bad, you know what I'm saying? Because what I was afraid of was happening to other niggas on the, on the dorm, but it was just never happening to me, you feel me? So now, you know, I've been there long enough. I'm finally going to the store. I'm going to the store, and I was always big on, like, in jail, living like you live in the world. Like, don't go to jail and be fucked up or go to jail and be... Like, can't buy what you need to buy. Don't shower or be in there. Like, hygiene, not together. Like, control the shit you can control. You know what I'm saying? You already in here against your will. You don't want to be here. They they controlling you. Like, all of that, folk. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that, 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 that's already enough. Like, that's already enough. You know what I'm saying? So, on top of that, you can't be out here, like, looking a certain way, smelling a certain way, not having motion in jail. Like, you got to maneuver around here and make it look like you you doing all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to do that, gang. So, I was big on that. Like, I was I was big on, like, moving and coming like I was still in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was, I was big on that. So, you know, when I'm going to the store, I'm pushing my... Cat, we had a hundred dollar limit on food. I'm pushing that bitch to the limit because you used to go, be at, you can go over a little bit, like ten dollars if it or five dollars or something. You be pushing that shit to the limit. But I always used to be back hungry because in the county, this before they did this new way where they like it's a new way. When I was in there in 2016, you had to have calling cards. If people ain't have money on their phone, you used to have to have a you can buy a calling card. They cost ten dollars, and you the maximum amount of calling cards you can buy is five but the kicker is that that fifty dollars that i was spending on that i was spending on um phone cards that shit went towards my hundred dollar limit that i that i can spend at the store period like you can only spend a hundred at the store on food and in calling cards and all that together like a lot of niggas used to get a lot of food and they get like one calling card or two Cause they had a people's out there putting money on their phone, but me, you know, I'm on here trying to make it like I got a real phone. Like I want to be able to pick up and call anybody I want to call. So it's like I'm I'm knocking out fifty that I could be putting towards food to have like calling cards, so I could just pick up and call whoever I want, even people that don't got money on their phone. So I was really fifty dollars short every store day because. I never, I, I was fifty dollars worth of food that I could have been buying, but I wasn't buying it because it was being used for phone calls. But I'm on there like in my mind, it's like, bro, if I want to talk to somebody, I want to be able to call them. I don't want to have to, even though uh, people are supposed to put money on their phone, it's like you can't expect everybody to move a certain way, especially when you're in a dorm, because that's another thing. In a dorm, the phones is way more fluid. Like you feel me? You will find a lot of people in the dorms not on the phone because like you get to use the phone so much. A lot of people ain't got people who finna keep answering for them. See, me, I had people, I had niggas, it was like, it was like people I had, I can call, like, it was a lot of people that was trying to get in touch with me, so I was just being able to call all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm up in there, using it like I'm, like I'm in a, like I'm in a world for real, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm getting calling cards, calling everybody in there, you feel me, on the phone, talking to thoughts, and, or, you know, like. Talking to my lawyer, all that. Like, I'm talking to anybody I want to talk to. I ain't going to lie. Like, um, you know, also, one thing that I went through in the court process is, is like, it's the court process in the county. Like, the court process in the county was the worst part of the county probably to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, imagine being in the same place as where you going to court like 
I'm in one building, a court building, and another building. They waking niggas up five hours early to go to court and on the same, on the same strip. Like, bro, imagine when I was in Division Eleven, man. Before I even got moved to the dorms, I had my my judge started his court at every day at nine. Why is y'all waking me up at four in the morning? Why is I'm being woke up at four in the morning? Like, like y'all got to take me to court and walk Keegan or something. Like, y'all got to take me to court and... I don't... Man, like, I don't know, I don't know, fucking an hour or two away, please. Like, I'm, I'm being woke up early, bro. I'm being woke up early. Now I was never in Division 10. That was for niggas that was psyched out and shit. But I'm in Division 11. They waking me up, bro. At 4.30 in the morning for court at 9, that... And everybody know Division 11 is the only division that's across the street from the actual court building. But even still, why is I being woke up five hours early, bro, and I'm going across the street? That was pitiful to me. Like, that, that made me hate the whole process even more. And then it's like, bro, going to court, they move so slow. If you're not back on your deck at the court, like, say, for instance, you have court, right? Everybody that been in the county for a long period of time, they knew the shift changes. So you had... 7 to 3, 3 to 11, 11 to 7 a.m. It was three shifts. 7 to 3, 8, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., 3 p.m. to 11 p.m., which was late shift. And then you had that late morning, that like overnight shift, which was 11 to 7 a.m. You feel me? Like, you knew, you knew, the, you knew the shift changes, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's like every day. If niggas going to court, say fans, you went to court and you you at court and you was at court in the building. You went to court at 12, 1, 11, 10, whatever time you went, right? But when you went back to the back, they ain't get you back to the proper places where you supposed to bend in your in your division or on your comp on, on the compound, they ain't get you that fast enough. So then you know that time end up leaking. Over to two, you end up sitting somewhere that you're not supposed to be to two, three o'clock. And once they get to two, three o'clock, the CEOs don't want to do no work because they finna get off. So they not finna go over there and be like, hey, uh, you uh, uh, they not finna be, they not finna be there like, hey, um, yeah, let me take you over there before I get off, man. I know y'all, they not doing that, bro. They gonna be over there like, hey, hey, um, hey, um. What the fuck they gonna do? They gonna be like, um, yeah, you might as well wait for the next shift. So now it's next shift. You gotta wait till the next shift. For oh, mind you, every day in the county, the hot plates, the the food, it comes, it comes um at four o'clock. So if you're not on your deck by four, you also miss your hot meal. You miss your hot meal, and then you stuck in the court building at four eating a bologna sandwich. You eating a bologna sandwich, folk. You eating a bologna sandwich. So now you you done missed your hot plate, whatever that was, you know what I'm saying? And you eating a bologna sandwich because you ain't made it, you know what I'm saying? So now it get to the point where you just like, you done missed, you done missed your jet trying to get back on your deck. You ain't got no food, no hot food because they move slow. So now you somewhere ain't been woke since 4.30 in the morning. It's 4 in the afternoon. You ain't made it on your deck and all you ate was a bologna sandwich. Come on, folk. Like, come on, man. Like, that 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 was like that was like, man, bro. Like, I can't, I can't, I couldn't get with that either. Everything moves slow enough, bro. It don't matter what you trying to do, what you got going on, it's gonna move slow enough, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing that they did, folk. Like, um, they used the they used the um. Another thing they'll do to you, right? On level grade, folks, they will, the ops, when they find out you in jail, they'll call they girl, whoever they at, they be on the phone with, bro, and be telling these people to look your real name up and it'll show your court date. And they'll go to court because they'll probably be having, they'll be having court in some type of time, folks. Like, they'll be having court. Like in the next couple of days, and they'll call home and be like, "Hey, 
what such and such, where he at, what's his name? I mean, what court, what day he go to court? Then they'll go to court in two days and get their next court date to your court date. You feel me? And then they'll catch you because they know what day you go to court, but they don't know, they don't know that you, like, you feel me? They don't know that you, they know you coming to court. You don't know that they looking for you at court. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you will be there just like at court in the in the court building or in the in the in the, in the um, what they call it? Um, they you will be in the um, you will be in the court building, folk. Finna finna get up in there and be um, in one of the bullpens, folk. Finna try to go upstairs to your courtroom and the nigga come in the bullpen with you, folk, and beat you. And beat you, folk. Like, and really beat you. Or jump you. Or do anything, folk. Because you didn't know it was coming. Him, he probably got two of his homies that even got their court dates requested to yours and everything. They came right on the deck knowing this morning they was going to send it up. And the thing about it, niggas be cool with fighting that court. Because that's how niggas don't. That's how niggas don't. Um, That's how niggas don't go to say it. Like, when you fight that court, they don't take you to say it. I don't know why, but they don't put you in say it. It's like. You get you get you get penalized more for fighting on your deck or doing something on your deck or like somewhat like obstruction in the county. But when you go into court and you get into it with a nigga, they know it's y'all done put a lot of niggas from other decks that's fighting other drama. Y'all got maxed out niggas. Y'all got y'all got all type of shit, you feel me, around in the same thing. So they know niggas gonna bump at court. So they don't even be on that trying to like get niggas up out of that court, folk. But you a real lie, get your head stumped in, folk, like you a real lie, get your head stumped in, folks. On bro, like, Scory. Is that my nigga Scory, folk? Is that my nigga Scory, folk? On phone now. Like, is that my nigga Scory, folk? But, um, like, yeah, folk, on the guys, folk. Like, so, you a, that'll happen to you. You feel me? Like, you will, you will be in there and a nigga will get your court date, bro, and real life be up in there looking for you, right? So now, on Fordham grade, more, it get more in depth, right? I I see motherfuckers at court. You feel me? Like, I see a lot of niggas. I seen a lot of the guys at court. I ran into Top. I ran into Top. Who else I ran into? Troy. I ran into Mac. I ran into Jayski from the Lamb. Quan from 46, Juvie from No Limit, Flock from No Limit, um, Brick, FBG Brick ran into him. I'm following him, like ran into him. Me and him had like a standoff, folks. We was both cuffed up and Sir Mac ran into him. He was whooping a lot of the guys up in Division Nine or wherever he was at. He was he had a couple of guys spook. I was hearing about it. So when he called me up and there, he seen me. He like got up, and stood up. I'm like. Guys, I was already standing up. I'm, what's up? Like we and each other, what up? Ooh, ooh, like, but it nothing never happened. But I ain't duck my shit on Steve. I ain't duck my shit from no nigga the whole time. I was a book on four them grades. So it's like now how I'm looking at it is like, all right, I see him. We both locked up. We both can't really get to each other. There wasn't no point of wolfing. We just like, hey, what's up? What's up, shorty? What's up, shorty? You feel me? Like we know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So. It wasn't even nothing really to really tweak about, you feel me? But I seen him in there, seen Manny, um, seen Brick, you feel me, Julie, you know. The names I just named, folk. Top Troy, 922, seen them in there, folk, on for them. Um, who the fuck else did I see? I seen a couple niggas in there, folk, but I'm going to continue. So, you know, also I had cut my hair. You know what I'm saying? In, in 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 the county. And, you know, that was a real crazy experience for me. You know what I'm saying? Because I had had hair at that point since I was five years old. I had been growing my dreads. You know what I'm saying? I had trimmed them down a couple times, started my length over. But my dreads have been there since I graduated from kindergarten. I had twists. That's how long my dread journey had been. You know what I'm saying? So, like... Me, like, hearing the stories, you know, I'm talking to niggas this at the point when I'm realizing I'm finna really have to do, like, go to prison. I ain't gonna be able to bond out. They ain't gonna give me no, they ain't gonna take the hold off my bond. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, matter of fact, yeah, I'm, 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 they ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they ain't gonna, like, when they, when they, when the niggas that I was talking to, they was telling me, like, bro, look. 
cut your hair in the county because I'm sorry if I be getting sidetracked, but they said cut your hair while you here. Don't wait till you take your time and you go to prison. Cause they don't let at this at this time they was not letting dreads of my length in the joint. Like they was smacking any dreads that hair length went like past your neck or your shoulders type shit. So like on for them, like when I when I got time to take my time, that's they told me like, bro, just cut your hair. Because if you go to the joint, they gonna cut your hair and then they gonna make you take a mug shot. You know what I'm saying? Like they gon' they gon' take you in this little room. And they gonna And then they gonna make your ass take your mug shot and you gonna look crazy on phone now. So now I'm like, um, alright, okay, cool. So now I go and I um went to the barber shop, let them trim me up. They gave me the best I guess the coolest cut that I can have. They gave me the coolest cut I could have, you know what I'm saying? Like it was one of those. So, like, I'm like, cool. I'm like, cool. But let me go back before that. So now. Nah. Bro, what the fuck is that? My bad. I guess that was my door. That was my girl coming. But yeah, folk on the guy. So now man, before that. No, I never got so look, nah. Before I, I have forgot to mention this part. Going to court, seeing the ops. Because I was talking about court and shit. So going to court, seeing the ops. This is what I was supposed to say. Um, before I even talk about the niggas getting, uh, before I even talk about niggas catch you at court. So, one day I was at court, and this is why I talk about, like, this is another reason why I hated being in jail. You would be in the county, a nigga like me, when I was in there at first, it was so many people that knew me that I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be in, the, in there. And I'll be around a bunch of niggas that don't that I don't know or niggas that'll come in and they'll be associated with ops or ops. And I don't know them. But they know me. You know what I'm saying? They know me. They know what I do. They know where I'm from. So it's like, at this point, I'll be in a... You could be in a talking to ops or being around ops if you a nigga like me and won't even know it. So one day I was at court, folk. And the ops rolled me. But this the thing, though. I didn't know who they was, folk. I never knew who the nigga was. Only way I knew who they was, folk, was after they was done rolling me. Yeah, nigga, we fuck, nigga, we fuck. I don't even want to say phone them names because they was this and my homies at this point after they didn't get down on me. They, yeah, nigga, whoa, fuck. Da, 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 da. On BD, they beat me, though. On Lubble, they beat the fuck out of me, folk. They, they, they whooped me. I ain't going to lie, they whooped me, shorty. I ain't going to lie, folk. Whooped me. This is what the reason why I started going to, to, to uh... Court with my hair in a ponytail after this. I never went to court without my hair in a ponytail. Because on Steve, when they want, roll me, they said what they went for first. They grabbed the back. They grabbed my ponytail, folk. And like yanked me like that on for them. And that's how they got up with me on for them. That's how they got up with me. I was missing dreads, folk. Surprisingly, I wasn't even missing dreads in the part of my hair where it was put up in a ponytail. I was missing dreads on the side of my shit, folk. On Steve, but I never got rolled by no niggas I knew or no niggas that was with gang or none of that. I never got rolled by no niggas that wasn't ops, folk. I never lost my hair over no situation that wasn't no ops shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never did that. I never did that. It be funny when I hear a lot of shit. I never did that on Steve. Ain't no nigga from the guys. And I ain't gonna lie, for like... Who who the fuck could come and who the claim like bro this shit I'm talking about from 2016 like this the only time the only big idea where my hair came out at any point in time in my life so 
on level grade. Don't y'all think a nigga would have Y'all see everybody doing interviews and doing this and that and all that now. Y'all know a nigga would have came out and, yeah, yeah, I rolled his ass. I beat his ass in there. Yeah, yeah, I snatched this shit out. He was, come on, man. I got rolled. I ain't going to lie. This shit, come on, man. A nigga would have been thirsty to come home and say something about that. It would have been, that shit would have been said already on phone now. Y'all know niggas be thirsty to come dick ride me on phone them. So a nigga would have came home and already, oh, yeah. I come on, folk. Ain't nobody do no shit like that. I got rolled by the ops, man. Just like the ops got rolled by me, phone them like this, 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 this. Like, come on, man. I'm arguing with real niggas from my hood a lot after this when I came home. Ain't no nigga from my block even say no shit like that. Like, ain't no nigga from, yeah, they beat your ass in a, who the fuck said that? Who said that? What, what, which one of my homies that did it, that, and my homies that I was in tour with that knew about it, when they, when they come out and say that? I ain't never say that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never said no shit like that. So I'm trying to see when the fuck that, um, when did that even come about? So, um, what else I was finna, um, what, let me, let me get back to this shit. I did get rolled, though. I ain't gonna lie, I did get rolled. I, I'll never take that, like, they say, remember they lied about you getting jumped in Harvey with a backpack. Yes, and had a whole video and everything. Tell me about that was me and McDonald's. They rolled me. I just couldn't believe it, for Like, you know, the nigga who did that, he did. On phone now. The nigga who was clout chasing off me and around that town, that nigga from Harvey, he did. That nigga ain't, he, he was doing all that tweaking and shit on phone them gray. Like, he he did on phone now. No shade, no nothing. Like, I ain't, there ain't even no shade, shorty. But like I ain't, that was like what the fuck. Um, I told y'all who I seen already, and me cutting my hair because I be jotting this down. That's how I be staying. Um, that's how I be staying like you know, on point and on pop of what I be talking about. So now we get to the point where we at court, and I'm watching niggas get hit with this Glock Dookie. Now let me tell y'all what a Glock Dookie is. A Glock Dookie, a Glock Dookie is when a nigga put shit, piss, and shaving cream, and shit, piss, sh and nut. If, 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 if okay, it, it could be, it's nut, and a lot of niggas be going crazy with the nut, the sperm part, but for sure it's filled with shit, piss, and shaving cream. Niggas be putting all type of shit in there, but... Shit, piss, and shaving cream and, 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 and sperm. On phone, them nigga going there, this is what a nigga do. You know, they got in jail, they got VO5, the shampoo, the body wash, they got that for sale enough. A nigga, once he done using that as body wash and it's empty, he fills it up with water, piss, shit, shaving cream, and sperm. It's tactics behind this. The shaving cream, you know, it pulls patches out of your hair like a nigga shit you down and blow you down in your cell. Walk up to your chuck, spray you down. You, when it get in your hair, it's going to put patches in it, make it come out. So if you got long dreads or something like that, you get shit down, you got to cut that. Then, you know, everything else is just embarrassment. Like, ah, oh, nigga, yeah, shit, piss, shaving cream, nut, use it. You just going to feel like you want to kill somebody. I ain't going to lie. Like, that's why I'm glad I, I couldn't get hit with no Glock dog. I don't give a fuck if I was in jail for a trespass. If a nigga would have hit me with that Glock Dookie, I would have been there now. I would have I would have been in there still right now. I ain't gonna lie, like nigga, I gotta shank you. Like I gotta, I'm stabbing you up, shorty. It's over. With. Like ain't no, ain't no. It's dead after that, boy. On phone them, you ain't finna just shit me down and think I'm. You finna get out and be like, yeah, I shitted his ass down with the Glock Duke. Man, stop it, bro. Shit dead. On phone them, great. That shit over with, fool. Ain't no nigga finna shit me down, fool. I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's, it's just over with, fool. That's just like that Savage Squad. That Savage Life shit. Like, once that happen to you, bro, you better kill a nigga on phone them gray. Like, you better kill a nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because that's another thing that was going on in the Savage Life. Nigga knock you out, spit in your ass, and embarrass you. That's an embarrassment tactic, bro. That don't got none. It's gay to me. You know what I mean? And I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't like that, bro. I don't like the concept of it. But the niggas who do it, they doing it because they want they want some type of like, you know what I'm saying? Like these niggas is doing it for whole other reasons, bro. They doing it for like 
embarrassment reasons, folks. They wanna they want niggas to see you get knocked out and then see you get your ass spit in and know like nigga you you's a bitch, nigga. Don't fold them, nigga. I just bitched you, nigga. Don't fold them like and just show a nigga like yeah, nigga you. You freaky now, nigga. You gay. I don't, feel like, I, don't know what, I don't know what a nigga be on. Like, you feel me? But that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they do. Niggas embarrass you. Like, niggas will make they self look gay or freaky to embarrass you, shorty. On BD. Like, and that that's that was just the our reality that we lived in, folks. So it was like growing up in jail, seeing being introduced to Glock Dookies and and, and, and the Savage Life concept, for And then they upgraded the Savage Life the second time I went in there. You used to just be knock you out, spit in your ass, you know, humiliate you like that. Now they putting the chili seasoning in there, fuck. Like, now they putting the chili seasoning in there. They walking around with the chili seasoning from the chili noodle, put it in there, put it in there, and then, um, and then, um, you feel me, spice you up. So when you wake up, you're going to wake up with your ass tingling. <laughs> you're going to wake up with your ass tingling, fool. You're going to wake up chilly as hell. <laughs> On L.A. Grave, fool. Like, I ain't going to lie to you, fool. Like, I swear to God, fool. Like, so... This is what happens to niggas, folks, on BD, the chili season, and on game, folks. So, you know, um, when I had cut my hair one day, I mean, when I had cut my hair, I went to court. I think it was like my second or third court day after I cut my hair. And I had heard some niggas talking, and they was talking about me. But they saying my name, and I'm talking to another nigga, folks. I fake him. I ain't going to lie. I heard my name. I thought I heard my name the first time, folk. But I'm talking to the dude and shit, and I ain't even trying to, like, um, did any of your dogs participate in such actions? I ain't going to even lie to you. I think the guy started it. And I don't want to put that on bro nothing, but I, I just feel like that's what happened. Because, look, Savage Life, right? Now, I know for a fact, Fulton from Front Street was partaking in it. Like, the niggas, Fulton, Savage, Lowe's. For them, little bro, them who was locked up for killing that twin over that coat, they was in there for doing that. And it's like, you know, by them being front street and them being close to Fredo and the whole Savage Squad thing, like, the name, how Savage Life came out and to find out niggas from front street was participating in it, it was like, did y'all start that? Because y'all Savage Squad, this Savage Life, one of the guys is Los and Savage. On the case together that's partaking in this shit, it's like, did y'all start that? Like, I was really, like, I wanted to, like, I always felt like, like there was some type of link to folks in them in Savage Life. Like, link to Savage Squad and Savage Life. Um, bro, I always felt like that since I knew, bro, them from French. Because them the only niggas I ever heard, like, that I could vouch for, for them telling me, like, yeah, yeah, uh, um, you know, it's a little low them. They really, uh. They been doing this shit. I'm, what? Look, Los now. Look, bro, them going crazy in the county, folk. I couldn't believe that shit. I'm like, yeah, folk. So when I heard that, folk, I'm like, I'm like, man, folk. I'm like, man. What do they do to make them niggas that mad? <laughs> These niggas out here with too much dip on their chip, folk. I'm bitty. Like, why is you out here? Knocking niggas out, spinning their ass for one. Then you want to drop the noodle packet? Come on, folks. Oh, bitty, you loose as hell out here. I ain't going to even lie, folks. So now, so now I'm like, man, folk. you know, that was crazy for me. So then we go and we in the visit part. So now when I was on, folks, when I was at this point, when I'm really getting visits, I'm in Division 3. So now in Division 3, we only had one. We only had one visit day. And like every other division was getting two. I don't know why we only got one, but every other division was getting two. They was getting Wednesday and Saturday. And how it was in the county, if you had two, the person that came to see you on Saturday couldn't come see you again on... I mean, the person that came to see you on Wednesday couldn't come see you again on Saturday. Basically, like, if you come a visit, you got to mix the next one, a couple that's available a couple days later, then you can come back. You know what I'm saying? So, 
that was a lot of people like in the county's way of like niggas like say for instance if niggas had hoes and then they had a bitch like niggas are how they bitch come Wednesday knowing she can't come Saturday and not all the ho all his hoes come Saturday you know what I'm saying but me a nigga like me I couldn't do no shit like that everybody had to come see me Sunday and not just like I don't want to go on visits like for hoes and shit I was just having a lot of visits but it's like everybody had to come see me on the same day so one day I'm in there and shit, and, you know, like, how my visits used to be, bro, because I had one visit, and I had so many people that loved me and wanted to see me while I was in jail. I used to be in a visit room from the first visit at 9 in the morning to the last visit at 9 at night. I literally, like, they, I I, I say everybody visit used to be, like, 40 minutes. They would bring, like, 15 niggas, 20 niggas over to be of 20 stars, and everybody will be right there, you feel me, seeing their families, folks, like, through the glass, and then they'll get that group of people, and they'll be like, hey, Carpenter, you stay, you got another visit, like, this This is how I went all day until 9 o'clock at night, like, I'll leave off my deck at 9 in the morning, and niggas will think I bonded out, because I ain't been on the deck all day, because I've been at the visit. Getting visits all day, back to 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 back. I'm phoning them, getting them all day. So now it's like I'm getting to the point where it's people that's not supposed to be there at the same time as people that's supposed to be there. And they coming in, bro. And, my, and the COs, G, they doing messy shit. So now one day I come out, it's Mother's Day. I come out and shit, and it's my BM sitting right there. It's before my son, but it's my BM sitting right there. My mama, and it's two of my hoes. They all in here together, bro. Like, literally, all in this bitch at the, like, they, we're all in this together. They in there together, folks, on Steve here, folks. Like, they in there together, folks, like, like, they in there together, folks, like, you feel me? Have you ever been in jail with any of the guys that died? Um, I guess, I see Troy. Troy did it now, shit, I guess, I, yeah, I was in jail with Troy, you know what I'm saying, but. On the guys, for like, they in there together. So, like, my BM, she on some, you know, because she know who these hoes is. Like, she knows, like, these two are, like, my main little hoes. But she, like, she's such a classy boss for on Steve. She asked, she say, she talking, but, like, it's it's a respect. Like, my mama does. So, my mama, like, holding everything together real quick. Like, she don't want her to tweak. She don't want to have to slap the little hoes that's here either. Like, so, my mama there, and she, she, I'm talking to my BM, and she like, yeah, so. Who are these bitches? Like, who, like, what you, like, what's to them? Like, oh, man, I don't know, man. Fuck them. I'm phone them. She so, so she say, so who you love? I said, I love you. I'm phoning them. I'm treating them. Bro, I swear to God. The hoes sitting right there what, listening to my BM ask, ask me shit and demean them. And they just, like, right there sitting there waiting quiet for on Steve, like, listening to her. They all, we all standing in the same booth, no bigger than... Too, no bigger than shit. This space I'm sitting in right here with y'all. I'm folding them and like she talking to me like, so who you love? Who your bitch is? Who your girl is? I'm like, man, what? You, you, you. I'm telling her and shit like, man, you know what's up. I'm folding them. You don't even gotta. I'm telling her like, you know what's up. You don't even gotta, um, you don't even gotta ask me that shit, folks. So she the. Oh, he on there now? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What are you yelling? He ain't saying nothing? It just ended. He talked to some error. Cookie. Cookie. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. See, that That was hell right there, y'all. Close it, duty. That was hell. That was that was, that was hell right there, y'all. On phone, she come right in, treating shit. She not playing. On phone, so my mama, she... she 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 see like the everything that's going on, so she tell duty like, all right, okay, come on, we gone, son. We gonna see you. We gonna see you next Sunday. Da 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 da. da. And I'm like, all right, bet. So now they leave. The two hoes stay. Her and my mama leave. The two hoes stay. Now the two hoes they come. You can tell these two bitches. They just know they side bitch. Now these hoes get to. Now one bitch was bigger than the other. You feel me? One of my hoes not big like fat, but she was big like. It was one little petite bitch, and it was one, like, thick bitch on phone them. So 
She they up in there. She talking to me and shit. The thick one. And then the little one trying to talk to me too. So like they both trying to talk to me. The big one bumped the little one. The little one bumped her back. And they got the fight. I'm folding them. And the big one tried to basically lace up the little one. Fold like lace up. And I'm just like damn. 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 And the motherfucker COs, they all, oh, they breaking it up and shit. I'm thinking they finna put me in trouble, folk. They get them up out of there by both of them from coming to the county, right? Man, folk, when they put them out for they laughing, we in the back, they laughing. <laughs> Carver, man, you crazy, man. You, you, like, I'm talking about folk crazy. All the COs, they knew I had pulled up because they used to see me every Sunday in here with all type of people coming to see me on game. Like, I'm up in here. Everybody see me on gang. They all the COs, they see I'm a regular. See, I got people who love me. See, I got motherfuckers who really care about me. So they up in here really like, all right, okay. He one of them ones. Are you going to start a Twitch? Yes. Shout out Mr. James. Soon. Is is Sosa talking putting money on D Rose books? Yeah, he doing some yeah, he doing something for Rose. Um What I was finna say. Um so yeah, you know that now that happened. That, that happens. We up in the um in the visit room and they get beat for the one beat up the other. I'm like, damn. But they put their ass out and brought my other visit in on Fulham Gray. They yeah, you got another visit. Sit, stay tight, Mister Carpenter. I'm all okay. Fulham <laughs> Gray. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm Fulham Gray. I'm all right, bet. I'm bet. So that was a crazy little visit thing. So now at this point, you know, I done cut my dreads. I done talked to my family. Everybody done seen me with my hair cut. They coming to court. I mean, they coming to the count, um the visit. Like, damn, you really cut yourself. Da, 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 da. So now, um, I had took my time shortly after that. I want to say I cut my hair in June or July. And I took my time August 5th. So when I took my time, you know, I'm, um, um, like I'm going to prison. I'm just gonna take my time. I end up taking thirty months. You know what I'm saying? Greg Anderson, this story made my day. <laughs> That's good, man. I like to make people days, man. So, um my um um this like um damn I, that's why I hate reading like reading the reading the super chats because it's like I be talking and then y'all say something in the super chat and I don't want to not respond but it's like as I say stop my story to say something to y'all it's like it throw me off from what track I was just doing or like what I was what track I was just on so but when I I took my time and I went to prison I ended up going to NRC now NRC is you go to Stateville. When you take your time, you go to Stateville. That's a maximum security prison. But they got a unit in there called NRC. This is basically for all the people who took their time and is going to a going to prison. But this not the prison they stand in. Like it, now, don't get me wrong. If you if you got sentenced to forty or fifty years or something like that, then you will be staying in Stateville probably, or you are gonna be going to Menard. You know what I'm saying, but you will be probably going to Stateville. But if you was like me, this is just like a passage. Like, I'm just passing through Stateville and passing through NRC. I'm going to be here for two weeks. And I'm going to um, go to my real joint. You know what I'm saying? That's a process everybody got to go through. To be there for a week and a half, two weeks, or three weeks. And you're going to go to your real joint. They're going to ship you out to where you really going. So, when I go to prison, you know, um, I'm in NRC. I bump into... A couple of the guys on the way to the bus, one of my homies named Jew. You feel me? One of my homies named Jew. We up and there together. And we end up actually going on the same wing. We went to like T wing or Z wing or something like that because they went from A to Z wings. It, 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 all of them was wing. It, 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 it was A pod through Z pod. Every wing had three floors. They called galleries in NRC. They ain't called floors. They called galleries. It was three. It, we was on the third gallery all the way at the top by the stairs. When you look out our door, all you see is a brick wall. You don't even see sunlight, folks. Like, you don't see people walking. You can only hear them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can only hear the CO keys jingling on the first floor or walking. You don't see nobody. You don't see nothing. You don't see no life. So, me and bro, we sitting up there. Thank God, like, and I didn't even know Jew like that at this time, but we became closer, like, in in a cell. Like, having somebody, bro, because it's, a lot of times you'll go to NRC, 
and they'll put you in a cell with some nigga who don't even speak your language, or you'll be a young nigga, and they'll put you in there with an old nigga. You know what I'm saying? And y'all don't really got nothing to talk about, or y'all don't got nothing to really relate to, but, like, when they put me and Jude together, our numbers went right. I was Y15074, and he was Y15073. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was in there together. So by us, like, you know, we having the same surround, the same, we, we was able to at least talk to each other, bro, for the whole two weeks because we never left our cell. Me and him was in that cell every day for 14 days straight. Now, knowing that, right, you know, it was a couple of rules, unwritten rules that we didn't understand that we had to, like that we should have like knew about when we took our time. So one of them was bring shower shoes with you to the joint. Like bring your shower shoes from the county, bring them to the joint. Nobody told me this, but I was supposed to do it. Because when you get to the prison, they're going to give you them little bogus ass strap on shoes. And, and I see, but they're not going to give you no shower shoes. So remember I was just talking about in the dorms with the nut being in the drain and all of that. See in the, in the county, See, in the county, uh, um, in the county, I was supposed to bring my shower shoes. So, I didn't never, I didn't never, folk, like, I didn't never even want to be like, wow, folk, okay. I get to the joint, I'm in my cell, they come, like, after six or seven days of me, us being in the cell, they come and say, yeah, I want to get in the shower. Whole time, bro. Like, how the fuck was we finna get in the shower? Where our shower shoes at? They said, oh, you ain't bringing from the county either. You can go in there barefoot or go in there with your strap-on shoes or you ain't gonna get in the shower. I said, well, couldn't get in. I was washing up, taking little bird baths at the sink, bro, every day. And we didn't have, like, two pieces. We had big-ass jumpsuits on, bro. Like, big-ass oversized jumpsuits that been wooed a thousand times for my straps to close it up wouldn't even close all the way. I'm up in that bitch with my shirt out, my chest out, all type of shit. Like, folk, real loud. Like, going through it. I'm folding them gray. I'm, I'm talking about, bro, I was so musty. That shit started hurting. Like, I'd never been that musty before in my life. Like, I was so musty, folk. It felt like that shit was, like, putting, like, like making my skin tender or something under my arm. Like, it was making my shit tender as hell. Like, I was just, like, I had the wild. Like, the soap was hurting me. Like, the little bogus soap they gave it was like my like that shit was like making me musty and and, and and scratching me or something like i don't know for what it was for like but i couldn't go in to get in the shower for because i'm in there like i'm really like i'm not bro because in in in, in nrc they know nigga ain't been in the shower in the whole week so you know what the co do when he come pop your door and tell you to get in the shower he gonna let you sit in the whole two hours i'm talking about two hours bro you gonna be in there by yourself or with your celly on different sides for two whole hours. And what you think niggas in there to do for them two hours? They ain't fucked and I don't know how long them niggas in there killing themselves. Going over crazy on Steve, like. Going over crazy, for I'm talking about coming coming back on the deck, for I'm talking about, man, niggas going up in there, for Refusing to go in there on Steve. Don't even want to go in there, folks. It's like, oh, no, nah, nigga, y'all doing freaky shit in there. Y'all doing overly freaky freak man shit or nothing. Nobody want to get them going no shower after you niggas, bro. I'm falling gray. Like, I don't want to do none of that. So it's like, at this point, I'm just like, can't shower. Then, folk, on video, let me tell you what they feeding us. In the joint, in NRC, the food got even worse. I swear to God, this, this, the prison food is better than county food. But this NRC food? <sighs> I'm talking about fuck a cock in a sock, bro. It's a cow cock in a sock. I'm talking about it's a big ass white s sausages and this wrapping. It looked like dicks normal, literally. Or you might wake up and it might be big ass. If I'm talking about, bro, the food used to be different colors. It shouldn't be like, why is these meatballs like tan like these motherfuckers ain't brown or nothing like food supposed to be bro why is these fat ass meatballs looking like testicles folk i swear i used to think they were serving us cow nuts folk on steve folk cow dick and cow nuts on la like cow balls and cow dick on la i thought that's what they was giving us so now i'm not eating that folk i'm not eating that so that'll be that'll be they'll wake you up for breakfast right and give you some fucking 
skim milk and give you some cornflakes, right? And then you look on the cornflakes, it's a little green shit. You know what that is? Mold. One day they served some shit because I was in there for two weeks. So the shit they served me week one ended up wrapping back around, coming back around the same day the next week. The first week it was good, though. This was like the only shit I was able to eat. It was like some type of look, like fake like spaghetti shit or something I was described. But it was with different type of noodles. Fo, I must have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is my little shit right here. I can eat this. Man, I'm still. It was a dead fly in my shit, bro. A dead fly. And I see it was the first place I knew shit could get molded that I'd never seen molded before. Like, bro, do you know how old you got to, how long you got to keep syrup for that shit to mold? I'm talking about syrup you put on your pancakes for, like, little packets of syrup for, like, bro, people leave syrup, bro, syrup be, syrup be, be, bro, syrup be, don't, bro, there's no way in hell, bro, syrup should be spoiled, bro, like, bro, syrup be in my refrigerator not getting finished for months, you will have the same bottle of syrup, that shit never have mold in it, bro, why is it mold when I peel, I peel the, I peel the lick back, bro, I didn't even know syrup could mold, bro. I peeled the, the, cause we had the, you know, the little packets of syrup and shit. I peeled the little lick off the top, bro. On Lubu, that bitch. I'm, it's some floating in my shit. Oh, man, what the fuck is that? It's little green mold in the syrup, bro. Um, bro, what the fuck? Syrup, bro. Syrup. They go in your pancake. How's it mold on that? And then the pancakes was the good shit. So if I got pancakes, this, this, this the pancake lick was the was the was the good as it's gonna get in that bitch. So once you get that and this mold in the syrup, G, you just want to, man. Folk, I used to be ready to kill a nigga, folk, because I already ain't ate in days. I'm talking about they waking me up at four in the morning with that cock in the sock. I ain't eating that. Rolling back over. Oh man, fuck it. Hopefully lunch better. Come with lunch. It's a motherfucking mold. It. Then they, man, bro, they'll give you a sandwich folk with some meat. For I don't even know what the meat is. What the fuck we used to call the meat? Slick meat. We call it slick meat. Fuck baloney, folk. This shit looked like. Man, this shit looked like they put shit, piss, shaving cream, sperm, and in a in a motherfucker varsity jacket and turned it into meat on folding gray. And, 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 and put that shit on two hard ass pieces of white bread and was putting it in the fucking tray for the give niggas, bro. Literally, on my son, bro. I'm looking like, what the fuck type of meat is that? I never seen this type of meat before in my life. At least in the county, it was some bogus ass bologna. I know what bologna is. But really, folks, this slick meat shit? Oh, Y'all trying to kill a nigga in here, folks. On bro, Greg, y'all trying to kill a nigga in here, bro. Y'all trying to really make niggas die on Fulham Gray. Like, it's no way y'all trying to keep people alive and y'all serving them this shit, bro. I'm talking about, bro, if you if you fat as hell and you want to know how to lose weight, just go to jail and take your time instantly, folks. And go do them two weeks. And, and I see, I promise you, you won't eat. You won't eat two or more things from them. You won't eat more than two things from them. You won't eat it. I ain't gonna like. Not gonna eat it, bro. You're not gonna eat that. I don't give a fuck how hungry, how much you think you. Oh, I'm eating that, man. No, boy, you're not gonna eat that. On Steve, you ain't. You're not gonna want that. You're not gonna want that. On guys, you're gonna be like, no, nah, bro. You feel like yeah, y'all ain't gonna want it, fool. I ain't gonna lie, y'all ain't gonna want it, fool. That shit was terrible, fool. I ain't even gonna lie to you, fool. <laughs> so now you know, cause my name ring it, fool. One of the niggas who I was on the deck with when I was in Division Three in the county, he had ended up taking his time. Before me, he went to boot camp. So now, if anybody doesn't know this, and in 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 NIC, all the boot campers is the ones that serve in the inmates. They food and shit. So they ain't making it, but they serving it. It's all these niggas in blue jumpsuits. They get they waiting for the boot camp bus to come in a couple weeks or a month, and then they gonna be gone. So I'm sleep one day. This nigga come. Hey, hey, Tate boy, you good? I'm like, man, what the fuck is that, boy? You man's folk, da 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 da. Oh, get up. He chopping it up and shit. I'm talking to folks. He like, yeah, boy, you know your name ringing through this bitch. I'm man, what? For what? He like, shit, they just said you in here. Like, that's what happened in the joint. Wendy William gossip niggas. Oh, yeah, Tasha Sonny, he here. He up on T Wing. Nigga come slap right on your door. This how this that's how jail work. Like, you can get caught up. If Saban's the wrong, he was the wrong type of nigga. Like, these boot campers is the niggas serving our food. 
Which means if a op boot camper would have heard I was over there and he was serving my food for he fuck around would have spit into this something. Or, sh- or 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 put through that shit on the floor and then picked it back up, put it in my tray and then was like, huh? And I would have never knew on the phone. I'm like, but niggas will pull up to your door and know where you at in that bitch, folks. So I'm like talking to folk. I'm like, damn, folk, I gotta get out this bitch. So now, no showering, no nothing. I get took to H two. Now, if everybody never been to H two, um. Um, bro, stop asking me all these personal ass questions, bro. I'm phone him about my family and shit. I don't give a fuck about nothing. He didn't cut nobody off. He cut his ass off. Being a hundred. So fuck y'all yeah, be want to know some of the weirdest shit. Like I don't be understanding Jamar Rogers. But um, you know, that's crazy. I got a lot of stories with Lil Zay or something, but that's another story. Um. So, yeah, you know, that was um, me going to NRC, right? Being musty. Can't wash my ass, not eating. I think I lost like 20-some pounds in them two weeks. I was little as hell. So, you know, we they ended up taking us to where the boot camp was, was at, which is H2. Now, H2 was basically like heaven compared to NRC. It was a different part of the of, of NRC, but it was basically the part they take you to right before they ship you out to your joint. I was in H2 for probably like two days over there. The, the mattress cots bigger, thicker. The food all hot all day. You get a T, you be in there with TV. It's a dorm, but it ain't a lot of y'all. It's probably like 15 of y'all. You know, it's just like a more freedom. And, and when you've been in NRC for two weeks or three weeks or however long, and you ain't used the phone, because I haven't used the phone at this point. I've been in the joint two, two and a half weeks, and can't call nobody. You feel me? Because I, cause my number don't work yet. You feel me? I'm a new. So, I ain't talked to nobody. So then, when I come out, right, it's some short, fat nigga, for we on our way to child. It's some short, fat nigga eyeing the fuck out of me, fo. He claimed he was from the lamb, right? But he... But he acting like an op. I don't know why you act like, why you size me up? If you from the land, why is you, t- like, looking like you some type of op-ass nigga? But he got so many tattoos on his face. He fat, short. He mugging me, like, he t- telling niggas, like, he on my ass. All type of little shit, but I don't know what the fuck he. So far, I swear to God, I come out with they, all the H2 dorms and shit. We all come out. We walk the child together. So for them, like, yeah, he back there. I turn around that time. I turn around. He fake, like, sizing me up, looking at me hard and tough as hell. But me, I never be on no tough shit where everybody can see me at, bro. Like, when you get to the joint, you're going to realize, like, you fight on the joint, fight on the walk, fight anywhere in public. On Steve, you're going to do a year in Pontiac, a whole year. No commissary, no visits, no phone, no nothing. No movement, nigga. You're going to spend your whole a whole year in your cell. Anybody on here that... Been to prison and it's from Chicago. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You get a year across the board, nigga, hang it up. You ain't nobody gonna hear from you for a whole year. Phone them gray, nigga. Only thing you could do is write letters on Steve. That's it. That's all you could do, folks. So I never really been with that, all that. You trying to act tough on the walk on Steve. I'll catch your ass in the bathroom and break your jaw. Phone them, don't play with me in front of these police, folks. On Steve, don't do that because I want to go to the crib. But I'll beat the fuck out you on Steve. So now. One day we come and we all sit at the same. This nigga sit at the table with me for us a four people table. We sit at the table with me. I, I say, oh, this is perfect. You, cause I don't know what he heard or what he think, but I'm about to treat the fuck out of him. So I say, Sam, you supposed to be on that with me? What's tell you like? What what you want? What man? This nigga soft as cookies for on Steve soft ass wannabe trying to make everybody believe he on something. Cause I'm me and he got tattoos on his face and he be looking crazy. Bro, I will break your shit. Don't never think you on shit. Don't talk, tell nobody you know me. I don't know. You say you from where? He told me he from the lamb. Man, you ain't from the fucking lamb. I called folks in them, man. I'm, when I got to the joint, I knew his name. I called for them to get the low word on the nigga, man. That's nigga. Nigga don't even know the fuck I'm talking about. That's why I don't be doing all that with niggas. Because you don't be knowing who these niggas is. Niggas be trying to act like they that in the world. Your ass ain't even nobody, boy. I get on the phone with your hood. They going to be talking about, who is that? Still to this day, this 2016, I still ain't never seen this nigga in the picture with no nigga from the land, folks. So, this the type of niggas that be trying to get you to crash out in the joint and get get more time. Because in the joint, in the county, they can't play with your time. They can't play with your outdate. Like, if you got an outdate, 
You can't play with that. But in a joint, they can push it out their back. They can take it, make it be this amount of months or that amount of months. Like, they could do that. So, like, now it gets to the point where you really like, oh, no, nah, I can't. I can't play crazy too much in here because when they when they when they when they take that time when they push your shit back fifteen days thirty days you are gonna be hurt, shorty. I ain't gonna even lie, you gonna be hurt, folks. So now it get to the point, folk. It get to the point now, folk, where it's like, wow, folk. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gonna beat the shit out you, folk. But please don't never play with me ever again, folk. Don't ever, don't never play with me, boy, because you ain't on that for real. So now it get to the point where I get shipped out. I finally get to my joint. I get to my joint. Mind you, I told you. Me and Ju, my homie Ju, we sell these in NIC, right? For them two weeks. But he didn't go to the same joint as me. He didn't go to the same. He didn't go to the same joint. I went to Galesburg. That nigga went to East Moline. He went to East Moline. But we took the bu our Our buses, our joints was the same direction. So we ended up taking a bus. So now, you feel me? Um, That happens. And on the gas for like, I get to the joint. I see I'm in a. I still can't use my number. Now it'd have been like three weeks since I've been in the joint. Still can't use my number. I'm coming out one day to use my try to because every day I used to try it. You you ain't gonna know it. Your number work till you try it every day. So I'm coming out myself and to try my shit. I see a nigga. He oh Tay I'm, look. I see it's Tali fo. It's Tali fo. Tali been a fuck been gone four years fo. Whole time come to find out Tali supposed to get out two years ago. He up in here fighting niggas, folk. Pushing his time, pushing his out they back, steady, steady tweaking, steady doing all this and that, folk. Pushing his out they back. So now me, he see me, he coming from, he just coming from SIG. He he in the process of getting in, in the population. But you gotta go through OR first to get while you sit and wait for them to put you in the building. So this nigga, folk, however it happened. He been in the in Galesburg making trouble the whole time, for before I got there. But the the warden, she was a woman. She wanted to see Tali do good, bro. She and and he was fucking up in there, but she used to watch over him and shit, like and really like tell him, like make promises to him, like please do this for me and I'ma do this for you type shit. So when he came, folk, he was constantly never. He said the whole time he had been in the joint, he never been in population. He he came to the joint. Whooped the nigga ass like his first week in OR, went to the SEG, came back out, got in OR, went back to SEG for something else, went back to SEG, stayed going back to SEG, said he never been in population the whole time he was in that joint. Till I got there. When I get there, I say, folk, the nigga write the, because you know in the joint when you first come in, you got to take a tape test. It's called a tape test or a tab test, some shit like that. And when you take it, that's how they going to know if you got to go to school automatically. Or you can enroll in school on your own. But if you got to go automatically, you're going to go to this one building on our compound, which was three house at the time. That's where all the young niggas go, the dumb niggas go, the niggas who got time that's probably looking for school, good time. They want to go there because they stupid. But me, you know, I'm a smart nigga. So I come in there, I plashed that bitch with flying colors. So it was either like I, I, want, I didn't have to go to the, the uh, three house. So folks, he writes a war and I tell him like, look, man, my little brother just came down here. He, he, my little brother just came up here on phone. If, if, if you put us in the same cell, I ain't even going to make no more trouble. The whole time I'm here, I'm going to be cool. She, she go. She go for the shit. On phone, I'm glad she went. She put us in the same cell. We go to two house. We moving in. You feel me? Niggas know who he is. They, in, a, in, in jail, they got, they be taking that BD shit serious. So the niggas, one of the niggas, the, one of the CMs, he come to our door and shit, make sure we acquainted and shit. And he get to talking that, um, talking all that, uh, BD shit. Me and folks treat his ass. We, bro, I ain't gonna lie, we ain't doing none of that in here. We all BD, but on Fulham Gray, all that, get on counting, all that. Y'all trying to make niggas have slides. That's how niggas get, don't go home. We ain't doing that in here. On Fulham, nigga, we, us, we ain't doing none of that on Fulham Gray. They respected it, you know what I'm saying? So, let me tell y'all this story for my phone died again. So I had to treat a nigga. I had to go on a nigga for, from O Block when I first got in there. Nigga named DP. He out now. When I first came, you feel me? The nigga was up in three house wolfing, talking crazy, like sneak this and this shit, like playing on my name and shit. So niggas asked me like, ooh, saying what he said and shit. So I asked Tully, like, he like, that's his homie. He know him from the world. He really from O Block. But I'm like, I don't know this nigga. 
So when I called to the crib, I ended up getting on the phone with Vaughn. We was both booked. But we on the phone. I asked him about the nigga. He like, man, he gang, but he ain't. But when it's a butt, it's like it's some. It's like he gang. He wanted the grass, but uh, once I hear butt, you feel me? I don't want to. Um, he butt. He ain't like you. I'm oh, okay. But I ain't need the green light for that. I just wanted to see who's this nigga's. I don't know. I feel like I know everybody from the O. So now I'm like, cool. I don't know the nigga. I'm like, all right, I don't know the nigga. Cool. So me looking at it like that, I'm like, all right, I don't know. But at the same time, I'm finna check the fuck out of this nigga. So when I first came to the joint, he and he go to school every day because he in three house. But I'm going to the school building because I'm getting like acquainted. When you first get to the joint, they got to get you up to par. So I'm going to the school building, and I see the nigga. It's him and like four other, five other biddies huddled up. I walk right in they crowd. I say, boy, look, all that shit I've been hearing about you speaking on my name. What's this? You speaking on my name? Putting, saying, speaking on my name. On fuck him. He, he, um, he like, uh, what the fuck the nigga say? He like. What? He trying to act like he don't understand what I'm saying or like he ain't been speaking on my name and shit. So I'm like, all right, cool. The nigga who, like, they been letting call the shots over there in three house. This nigga say, you know what? Y'all just meeting. We going to all meet in the bathroom at nine o'clock. Da, 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 da. After I check him, tell him, like, boy, we could do whatever you want to do. Boy, don't never play when we stop playing me. I don't know you, boy. Your ass ain't no shit. So, on BD. Nine o'clock come, I'm in that bitch at eight fifty. The nigga who told us to meet in the bathroom at nine, he in the bathroom already, folk. We both standing up, waiting on DP to come in. On Steve, I'm we both sitting there, folk, waiting on him for like ten minutes. For me and him went up, up in there talking, waiting on DP to come in. I ain't gonna lie. The nigga never come in. I'm like, you know what, I right, I'm gone, folk. I'm video out telling like I'm gone, man. I'm finna go back to this club, class before they get to looking for me and shit. So I'm like, man. I'm like, I don't go back to class. Shit, I get back to to my after 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 the uh we leave school and shit. I get back to my deck. Everybody getting that damn for we heard what happened. No, no, no. It done already made it back to my deck before I got back on deck for like, what happened. So at this point, I'm like, man, you know, it wasn't shit for real. It wasn't really nothing. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just better stop playing before I get on that on Steve. I ain't playing with no nigga. But I walked up in front of his ass, in front of all the niggas he had been around the whole time he been in this joint before I got here. And I told his ass, nigga, I'll roll your ass, boy, on Steve. Like, don't nigga uh, get on that, boy, on phone them, nigga. And we we was supposed to meet in the bathroom, and I was going to roll his ass in the bathroom. And on phone them gray his ass. His ass ain't, he, he, he ain't pop out on bro. He ain't pop in the bathroom on for them. He cool now if he don't play with me or nothing, but he ain't, he ain't want, he ain't, he ain't coming in that bathroom on Steve. Then I ain't gonna lie to you. He did not come in that bathroom for, bro. He ain't, he ain't coming up for, so. Now, you know. Uh. When he got, when we got in the cell together, you know, he was uh, a cook, Tali. We making food, we making dips, for all type of shit, for Why my B day come? We enough, for I'm talking about, I done fed the whole, my whole deck, nigga. You can ask anybody, I fed all the BDs and the Breeze on my deck, nigga. Everybody, what you doing for your B day, nigga? On Steve, nigga, I was on C grade for my B day. So that mean I couldn't go to the store for shit, but $30, and I could only go once a month, and that was for food. So I, you know what I did? I put 100 on folks' book. I found all the broke, older niggas that was living off, um, State pay, you know, state, the state will give you $10 every month on for them to live, like, to get you a little store, they giving them niggas state pay. I get, I put 100 on three different niggas' books and get everybody that's shopping for me $25, like, in, in a joint, in prison, $25, that shit went a long way, especially if you knew how to bid. On Steve, I'm putting 20, 100 on his shit, 100 on his shit, 100 on his shit. And I'm in my cell, can't even go to the store because I'm on C grade and I got niggas coming back to the deck with big ass bags of food that's mine. On phone them gray, I'm in that bed. Three different niggas on phone them coming to my deck. Getting they $25 worth of shit they put on the list. And on phone them gray, whole bag, man. $75 on his shit, $75 on his shit, $75 on his shit. So my shit gonna be full regardless. On phone them gray, I'm going in that bitch when I, before I even got on C grade. Shoes. Brand new jogging suits. I had all that shit, boy. I had five, six pair of shoes, boy. I was only in, I was only in prison from, from, from September to December, boy. On Fulham Gray, I was only in there from September to December, folks. 
like late August to December, early December. And for them gray, I was in that bitch. Not playing, I ain't gonna lie. I'm in that bitch living exactly how I would live in the world. On phone them, I got niggas in there. Me and the niggas was fucking the same hoes in the world. He on the phone with his hoes. And yeah, I'm in here with dude. Yeah, it look like somebody, look like niggas give a fuck about him out there. Woo, woo, he, he on this shit in here. Yeah, I'm gonna be on my shit all the time. On phone them gray, all the time. All the time, boy. I ain't missing no meals. I'm not short. Ain't nothing short. None of that, folk. So, um... You know, we up in there for my B-Day. We making jail dips. I'm talking about the whole thing. I'm talking about we making wraps, pizza puffs, pizza, um, layers. We making cakes. I'm folding them like we making all of that. I got different niggas. I got niggas in like four, five different sales, folks. Folks, he in charge of the pizza. I didn't pay for all this shit. This ain't for them shit. This all the food that I paid for, and I got different niggas making my shit. I'm for them. You say you good at making a pizza? Folks in his cell's making a pizza. I got folks in his cell making um, making the goddamn, making um dips, the layers. I got folks in his cell. He's making the pizza puffs. I'm, that's what I'm doing. I fed every bitty and breed nigga. Every nigga that threw up the trays ate on my deck on Steve. Every nigga, folks. Every nigga. I don't give a fuck which side of the gallery you was on or what what top or bottom, nigga. If you was one of the trays, nigga, you ate that day on Steve. And my niggas who want the trays ate that was good with me. They they got good on phone them. They got good, I ain't gonna lie. My older homies taking care of me, making sure I'm straight enough. I fed every nigga that was that was one of us on Steve. Everybody. Everybody, folk. You feel me? So now, you know, that was a good experience. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't trade that prison experience for nothing in this world. I learned so much about myself and how to move, you know, older guys. I had a bunch of older guys folk that was in there because I was in the media max joint. I wasn't in the minimum. So a lot of the niggas I was there with had came from the max joints. I did 20 years, got 30 years, did 25 years, and got 10 left. Like a, a lot of older, wise guys. So with that being said, it was like when I was in the I was fortunate because, you know, I'm a, a lot of older guys, when they when I open my mouth, they see I'm not just no young, stupid nigga, folk. Like, so they talking to me. They actually listening to me, and I'm listening to them, and they teaching me how to move in here, and that's why I got that stop dissing people. A, a real OG told me, don't speak about niggas who not around to defend their own honor, man. So if you talking about somebody that's dead, you talking about somebody, and you doing bitch shit. And I just looked at it like that ever since, you know, and even my workout habits that I had, I got them from the older guys and that. that's why I was able to come home healthy, some smaller after leaving and doing all that shrink and Zans and doing all that and getting big as hell, big as I ever been at that point, at least. I was able to shake that shit off in prison because of the tactics, the, the habits and like the lessons I learned from them OGs that I was in there with. Also, another thing that I hated in the, uh, in prison, for I felt like you just, it was a lot of shit I had to get used to. Like, no homo, like, seeing naked men, I had to get used to that shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I had to, I had to get used to seeing, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I first came in the joint, niggas getting out the shower, it's a two-man shower, it's a divide in between, it's a two-man shower, niggas getting out the shower, you look to your left, it's nigga whole nuts out. You, oh, for what the fuck is you? I'm ready to fight in that bitch and shit, but I had to stop. I had to get off my young nigga shit and realize, bro, it's... 60 niggas in here. We all seeing this shit. Everybody waking up every day with this shit. On they seeing this shit. Like, if you ain't on no freaky shit, you know, like, this is shit you just gotta see when you in here. Folk, we all in this bitch together. Folk, niggas getting out the shower. Motherfucker ain't finna be in the shower. Just shower with they drawers on. So it's like, if you looking that way and the nigga getting out the shower, you might see some shit. But it's like, you gotta just be strong enough in your mind to know, like, damn. You feel me? Like, damn, fool, I ain't want to see that, but that shit, like, I got, you got to minimize it, fool, because you will get mad, like, I was in that bitch getting mad, fool, Steve, but it's like, I had to really be like, man, this just make you want to get out, like, you, because this shit you got to deal with when you in there, you feel me? You got to deal with all that freaky, all that, all that seeing it, seeing niggas, uh, you might see a nigga naked or some shit, or on accident or something, like, you will see that shit, fool, so it's like, I'm, um, no, I ain't with that shit, for I'm young. I ain't, I ain't my my mentality different, for But if you been to prison, you know this shit that you gonna see. You gotta normalize the shit, for or you gonna keep getting mad about the same shit, for So 
I'm coming in there and shit, I'm seeing this shit, like, all of that type of shit just made me, like, ready to get out even more, folk. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I'm seeing that shit, that shit was overly rambunctious, folk, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, damn, folk, like, I'm, man, folk, like, damn, folk, this is what, this is what this shit came to, folks. <laughs> I gotta get up out of here, man, I'm, I'm great, like, you feel me, so, um, like, one thing that, like, really made me, like, and now, at this point, Tali, he go home. Tali leave. Tali come home. They put another nigga in my cell, uh, one of the breeds. He was cool, right? So, you know, um, um, when he leave and the new cell, he come in, this nigga's a pop-out artist, man. He want to pop out his cell. He want to go here. He want to be out on, in the day room. He not supposed to be with our side, not out. Brought a lot of attention to our fucking sale, and I didn't like the shit. I actually hated the shit, bro. So, after a while and shit, this shit just, like, started getting real annoying, folks. Because it's like, bro, I'm not popping out my sale. I'm not doing that, bro. When we lock up and they let the other side out, I'm not popping out with them niggas, bro. You feel me? I'm not finna do all that. Nigga come holler at me at my chuck or something. You feel me? This nigga want to pop out. He want to pop the door. And how the how the CEOs watching our door thing, we both popping out. Nah, I never popped out with his ass on Steve, and he barely, rarely got caught. I ain't gonna lie, he probably never did while I was his celly, but I didn't use to be with that shit. I was never the type of nigga who wanted to make my bid harder than it was. So, so he one of them type of niggas. So out the blue, fo, I end up, you know, because it's my first time in the joint, I end up being. Getting qualifying for good time So in December when I came home I had found out I was getting out The day before I came home My out date wasn't until February The day before I came home They called me to the building The school building And I came over there and, they, and the CO told me like man The CO told me like man So what you taking? Yeah. So it's like, um, so, so I hear, um, everything that's going. Vivian, I can hear you. So yeah, you know, I um I end up um when they um when they um when he come when he get out, you know, they called me like a couple weeks later and was like, Hey, what you taking with you? So I'm like, Man, taking with me well. Cause you know, also this is the same bit where they tell you they moving you. Because I had I was short, so they was probably gonna move I'm thinking they probably finna move me for, to another joint. And put some niggas who need to be in this medium max joint here. Whole time, and they finna let me out, fo. Man, fo, they tell me, what you taking for? I said, boy, what? I, I grabbed, like, some little shit that I was taking, boy. I left everything, bro. Everything. I'm to my left. Everything, nigga. I'm them all my food, all my jogging pants, everything, nigga. Ain't none of this shit. My hot pot, everything. My TV, I left that shit with the BDs on Steve. Found it, figuring out which one of the guys needed the shit that I had the most. And I was giving that shit to folks now. On Steve, giving that shit to bro now. I come home, man. I get out, folk. Tell me why both of my cellies that got out get killed. For they killed Tally and they killed Jew. Both of them came home in October, mind you. When me and Jew left each other, his out day was October or something. Tally got out in October, too. I ain't get out until December. Both of them niggas was dead by February. I talked to both of them the day they got killed. Talit literally called me in the hospital when he had that lady hostage, folk. He told me he wasn't going back to jail. And that shit fucked my head up, bro, because I had been talking to bro because he a jailbird, and I be trying to keep my niggas out for I try to keep him with me, keep him around. For that nigga called my phone and said he's not going back to jail. He was on the phone crying. That shit still be having my head fucked up, bro. And when I read the story, it was like I could picture my conversation and picture the story. And on Steve, that shit fucked my head up. It still fucks my head up. I ain't gonna lie. It fucks my head up, bro. It really does. Like, I was talking to Jude the day that that shit happened to him. I'm talking to him, texting, bro. I'm, man, what you on, folk? Get with me. He shit. I'm going to slide on you, folk. On phone, and we got to chop it up. We going to kick it later, folk. Um, 
I'm finna go bust this little move. He said he was finna go bust this little move, hit this little cable real quick, but that's what you do. I ain't thinking nothing of it. Man, before I swear to God, bro, I end up realizing that bro never um hit me back. And later that day, I end up hitting bro, and his phone was, his, his, his shit wasn't saying delivered. This shit wasn't saying delivered, folks. Like, so I'm just like, you know, I'm thinking nothing of it. His phone probably dead. Check back two, three hours later for his shit still saying delivered. His phone ain't popped back on. Oh, man, what the fuck? What's going on? Then my little sister, man, she hit me up like, you heard what happened to Juju? Da -da 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 -da. I said, folk, what? Man, that shit broke me, fo. That shit broke me, fo. Cause this was really my man's, fo. Like, and then like the shit with him and Tali, fo. That shit just still to this day. Like, I got so many memories of themselves with bro and them, and they dead. They both died on me, fo. Like, two of my homies that I was in the jams with in jail and as a celly, as my cellmate, fo. They died, and that shit just made it opened up my eyes, bro, to so much shit, fo. And then when I went back to jail the second time, I had a son that was four weeks old, and I. That was the worst week of my life when I set it up, folks. Like, it just put a lot of shit in perspective for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it put a lot of things in perspective, made me want to change my life up, move a certain different way. Because my niggas came home and they got killed. And they would, got killed risking their lives to go back to jail on phone and possibly. And, and then I went back and I had a son. And it was just a lot. Just, I couldn't do it, bro. But the reason I had to sum the story up because my phone was going to die. And I ain't wanted to clap on y'all mid story like last time, but it's on one. And I can't charge it and talk on here at the same time. So I'm gone, man. I love y'all. Thanks for coming through. This is the longest live I've ever done. And I hope y'all enjoy it because y'all told me y'all wanted them an hour plus. This is an hour, over an hour and a half. Love y'all, man. I'm full of them. Be back tomorrow.